Hey everybody, I have had a couple of comments on a couple of videos asking about my braces. Um, and then a follow-up comment I got the other day uh, asking if I would make a uh, video about having braces as an adult. So that's what I'm doing. This is just any information for anybody who's interested as an adult about having braces. These are my braces right here. And what happened was... I had braces when I was a kid and you know I don't know what 13 14 that kind of thing and I had them for a couple of years and my teeth I had a real bad overbite as a kid and I'll try and show some pictures as I'm talking and I had braces when I was a kid so I corrected the overbite um, but then after time things move around and uh, your teeth shift around and right here on my left I guess my, it's my incisor and my lateral incisor. They started to kind of go like that. It just kind of happened over time. It's just one of those things. Uh, and I, I play saxophone, so I was biting on the mouthpiece. And I think that had a lot to do with it over time. It just got my teeth moving around. And uh, what I started to notice was that uh, it really bothered me. Um, it wasn't a horrible thing. It was just one of those things that I always felt these teeth getting a little a little crooked there. And also what happened is both the, the front incisors were starting to uh, be pushed in a little bit. They would go inward and then that lateral one would kind of push out. So there was just getting more and more wonky. And um, I was, it was in my late 40s and I realized that when I was 50, I wanted to at least try and be, do something about my teeth and try to get them straighter and also they were getting kind of yellow i mean i go to the dentist but i wanted them really white and really straight i you know i figured if i'm gonna get in my 50s that's the way i want to have my uh, teeth really white and really straight so i got um a whitening kit through my dentist they made molds and i um would wear those not all the time but you know occasionally you put the gel in there and you put the trays in and it's the real powerful stuff and I would leave it in for about an hour and then take it out and my teeth got a lot whiter, which was great. My teeth are still relatively white. Um, obviously, since the braces, I can't wear the whitening trays anymore. Once my teeth got whiter, I realized, man, this the to me, it became more noticeable that the teeth were getting a little more crooked. And also, I noticed uh, older men, when I would talk to older men in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, or at least see men on TV, their teeth would be really janky and, and crooked. And my dad has really bad crooked teeth on the bottom. And his dentist asked if he wanted to have those fixed. And he said, nah, just leave it. So I didn't want to be, I didn't want to get older and then just, it'd be one of those things, well, now I'm too old. So, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, which is fine for a lot of people. But for me, I just wanted really straight teeth. So what I did was I went to my dentist and I talked to him and he says, well, we've got this real good guy who does our orthodontic stuff uh, in real, you know, with, uh, with our office. He said, but if you just want to work on those crooked teeth on the front, we can just do an appliance on top. And he kept saying an appliance and it took me a little while to figure out, oh, he's talking about braces, actual braces. Um, what they did was, uh, they're, the orthodontist and the, my dentist are really good friends. And so the one of the orthodontist people from... The, dentist, the orthodontist office came over to the dentist office and they put on these braces on the top. They put the brackets on each tooth and then, I know everybody knows how this works, then you put the wire on and then it just starts to round them out and straighten them out. And so we did that. I did that through my dentist office. And I would go, you know, every so often they'd change the wire and they'd tighten them up a little bit and get them a little more aligned. And uh, this is where I made my mistake. About a year later, they really started to straighten out real nicely, and they are straight right now, uh, especially the top ones. And then I was looking, and I realized, well, my bottom teeth are okay, but they're not really, really straight and even. Uh, so then, I, on the, actually, on the day that I went to the dentist, and they were going to take them off, um, that's when I brought all this up that I'd like to have the bottoms worked on. Which was, uh, I didn't even think this through. I should have had the bottoms and the tops, of course, at the same time. But I didn't. I thought I was just going to have the tops. And then 
you know, everything was going to be fine. But then once I got the tops going, I realized how straight they were getting. I, I also, I wanted the bottom ones done too. So he, he said, okay, we, yeah, we can do that. But it, he said, I think it'd be best if you just go to the orthodontist, uh, full time now, because when you start doing the top and the bottom, they have, they want to realign your bite. So that's what I did. I started going to the orthodontist full time and they put the, the braces on the bottom and those are straightening out. I'm at the tail end of this whole uh, this whole situation, but they put the braces on the bottom and things started to line up nicely. I've had the bottoms on for a year and about three months. It was a year ago, January, and the tops I've had on for over two years now. So I'm really anxious to get them off, but of course I want the teeth to be straight and I want this to be a very good, um, good job. So I'm not trying to rush it or at all. I have a couple of, they asked me a couple of questions uh, in the comments. Um, because of the language difference, I didn't quite get all the questions, but I'm going to try and just uh, tell you, uh, answer any questions I have. Um, my experience with the braces, I've just told you, I started out with the top, then I realized I wanted the bottom. And then, of course, realized after the fact I should have had all this done at the same time, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, my progress. How's your progress? The progress is doing very well. Uh, the bottoms are pretty nice. They're almost where they need to be. And what happens is basically two things. They get in a nice arch, you know, your tops and your bottoms. And then, of course, the teeth rotate. And then they just line them up just so, so it's very smooth all the way around. You can tell them, oh, hey, this one tooth over here feels a little crooked. That's what happened last time I went. Uh, I felt one of my teeth in the front again starting to turn. So I told them about that, and they went in there, and they adjusted, and they fixed it. Uh, there was one time where I had to have one of the brackets taken off. They took the wire off. To, they took the bracket off and they had to move it to because it just wasn't in the right place for how my teeth had moved. So I put a new bracket on, put a new wire on, and then resume the, the straightening. Are they correcting my bite with elastics? Yes, yes they are. This is a bag of rubber bands. And these are the bigger ones, if you can see right there. It's hard to see, but there they are. And what you do is there's not a hook, but just a little, little area right here on the top. And a little area on the bottom. They show you how to do this. And then you just wear the elastics. And that realigns your bite. And there you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you're supposed to wear them all the time. And honestly, as an adult, it uh, feels ridiculous to be wearing these things. But that's what I need to do. And you, you get tired of it. Um, and then uh, these are the bigger ones. I went to the smaller ones. They moved me to the smaller ones and I wore those for a while. And then I really got tired of that. And for the last couple of weeks before they switched me back, I was only really wearing them at night. This next time around, they put the, a new wire in. They said, look, the wire is not going to support the, the tighter ones. So we're going to put you back on the bigger ones. And so I did that. And uh, it just... The tighter ones, it makes you feel silly because you're kind of talking like this and, you got, and it makes you lisp a little bit. The bigger ones aren't as bad and so I'm wearing those more often. And they said, uh, the last time I said they were an orthodontist, they said only about one or two more millimeters and then we're going to have your bite corrected. Uh, so I'm almost there and they say your teeth are doing really well. They're basically where we want them to be. Uh, so I've just got to be persistent and keep wearing these and also I've been doubling up on them at night as they're as they suggested so I put two on this side two on this side and it uh, really helps get my bite adjusted this last time I went to the orthodontist they wanted to create a little bit more room between my teeth on the bottom to help them just get that last little bit of adjustment so what they do is they have this little tiny it's basically a sander a um, little minuscule thing, and it's they said it's the width of a hair basically. And they go in there, they take off the wire, they go in between uh, two or three of my teeth, and they just create a little more space with this little sander. It's just a little zzz, and it creates a little bit of space, and that way the teeth have a little bit more room to adjust and line up a little bit better. 
So that's what I did the last time. It didn't hurt. It just felt a little funny, but it didn't hurt at all. Since then, that was a couple weeks ago, and since then, my bottom teeth have, have moved a little bit that I've noticed. I can actually see. So there's that. How long is the process? I still think it would probably work out to about two years. Um, if I did them both at the same time, it may may have been a year and a half. Uh, there's no telling. The thing is, they don't ever really give you a timeline. They don't say, okay, we're putting these on. You're going to get them off on this date. You're going to get them off in a, two years from now. They don't say that. It depends on you and your progress and how willing you are to wear the elastics. So, so and last time I went in there, I'm, I'm really getting antsy about getting them off. And I said, when, you know, what's the timeline on this? And they said, well, it's up to you, basically. So, you, you know, keep wearing the rubber bands. So, here I am. Um, does it hurt? was one of the questions uh sometimes i i don't know the logistics of how they actually do what they're doing but they did point out to me that the uh technology for straightening teeth has advanced tremendously in the last you know 40 years since i've had them and then since i had braces the first time and then um the wire they use is like the space age technology crazy wire and they can do amazing things with the brackets that they put on your teeth what they do um every time i go in there is they take off the uh they unhook all the brackets so the wire comes out they take out the wire then they give me a new wire and i don't know what the thinking is sometimes they put a thicker one on sometimes uh, they put a thinner one on but i think they go they start kind of thin and they get thicker as, as time goes on that way it's just more sturdy and it keeps everything in place and moves your teeth, you know, uh, very efficiently. And once they do that, they do it on the top and then they do it on the bottom. And then also there are some of the brackets that get in there with a little ratchet tool. I know it sounds funny, but they get a little ratchet tool and they, once they kind of get everything situated on, they ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. It doesn't hurt. It's just a funny sound. They go, and they're tightening up this and tightening up that. And it doesn't hurt while they're doing it, but uh, this last time it was a lot going on there and it really was very sore for about a week and a half, almost two weeks. And now my teeth feel pretty normal. So it doesn't, it, you know, it's, it's sore. Your mouth's sore. It's hard to eat certain things. Um, after you've gone to the orthodontist, it's, it'll, it's hard to eat most anything. You have to eat real soft foods because you can't, it's hard to bite into a real hard sandwich and, and tear a piece off because your mouth and your teeth and your jaw just hurt tremendously uh, when you do that. So it's very sore. You just take, you know, take a bunch of ibuprofen and, and ride it out until things settle down. And then at the uh, end of a week or two, it, everything, it stops hurting and everything feels like it's going back to normal. Um, I'm, my best guess is probably in the next three to five, six months, uh, my bra hopefully the braces will come off. It should be this year without any doubt. But again, it depends on how willing I am to keep wearing the elastics. And as long as I don't get lazy about that, I uh, should get them off relatively soon so uh again i really like the way they have turned out and so two years on the top uh one year on the bottom a little over a year and uh they come out real nice the bottom ones again like i said have, have turned a little this way and they really lined up nicely the the top have been great they've straightened out real nice that little crooked area has been fixed for a long time now and really, that's about it. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer. And for the couple of people I asked about this, sorry for the delay. I, I had totally forgotten about it, to be honest with you. And I hope this helps um, anybody who's curious about it. Oh, in terms of the cost, it was... Um, I, again, I did this in the top and the bottom section. The top part cost about 2000 that was through my dentist. He kind of gave me a little discount. And then I went to the um, orthodontist and they put it on the bottoms and that was a $3,200. Uh, that was kind of full price. So all in all, it was about five, you know, $5,200. But I do uh, monthly payments of $200. And that's how that works. I'm down to my last $400. I'll pay it, you know, 
in April and then in May it'll be all paid off and then uh, hopefully by then it will be time to get these things off. I know it's not cheap, but if it's it's something you really want or willing, it's like a car payment. You just make it every month and then you, you know, eventually you, you pay it off. So, but anyway, if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I hope this helped and I hope this answered some questions. So, thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, before I forget, there's one thing I was I meant to mention. These are the best things you could get. These are, uh, I get these at Walmart Packers uh, brand. Uh, they're called Ortho Pick. They're the orange ones. They're these little picks like you see all the time people, you know, flossing their teeth with. Two things about them. One is that you can bend this back and this part right here. Oh, I'm trying to get this in focus. There we go. And this part right here is flexible and it bends. So you can really get in there and and flaw and kind of pick up the stuff caught in the wire, and then right here, um, this is a, the wider side, and this is a very narrow. Oh, let me get that in focus. There we go. This side is the narrow side, and this side is the wider side. So the way you do that is you use the 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 thin side to go on the outside of your teeth. And you can floss. Pardon me, I don't mean to be gross, but you can get in there and you've got room because this this one side is so narrow. Okay. So there you go, and that's it. Um, this is a obviously you're gonna keep brushing and you're gonna floss as much as you can with these. I always keep two or three of these around the house. I keep one in my car, so when I drive, I'm just flossing and, and trying to get the gunk out of there. Personally, the worst thing for me are noodles. If I eat ramen or uh, Chinese food with noodles, the noodles break off little sections and they get stuck in between your teeth under the wire and they're just real hard to get out. So anyway, that's it. Again, thanks for watching and I hope that helped. Bye-bye.